Welcome back MA3 community. In this video we present the long-awaited color effects section in our basking template show file. In the next 10 minutes we will show you how this section works and how you can easily customize all those color effects using MA3 recipes. Besides the color effects we also have some other small updates for you which we will present at the end of this video. So make sure you don't miss them. Okay, let's stop talking and start hands-on. As you can see, our layout has changed slightly with the latest update and the introduction of our color effects. For the color effects, there is now a new layout view below the color picker that looks quite similar to the intensity effect section up here. In this layout view, you can select the effect form for your color effects, as you know it already from other effect types. Along with this additional layout view, we've added another bottom row in the color picker. This additional row allows you to set a second color, which will then be used for all the effects in combination with the active main color of each corresponding fixture category. So let's give it a try and therefore simply select an effect form down below, for example this one, and as you can see, you will directly get a nice color effect. In our way of thinking, two bars and uh, the effect afterwards always lead to a two-step behavior, for example like this or like that. Four bars indicate a four-step behavior. The cloud and all the numbers behind that indicate a soft behavior, for example some soft running uh, sine waves through, uh, through your rig. And the star indicates all the effects that have maybe a, a bit of a higher impact. So, for example, this one. While running effects, uh, for sure you can also change the color of them. Uh, as you already know from our color picker, this principle stays the same. So you can change either the color of a single fixture category or by clicking the icon above all fixture categories at the same time. And while doing so, you can for sure also change this uh, effect color down below. And if you want to get an inverted effect behavior, simply swap those two color selections. So we go for green here and for red down below, and this will give us an uh, effect with a different step behavior. Just keep this in mind if you want to create a different look. In some color situations, this really makes a big difference, especially if you're using colors with higher light output and lower output. So for example, white and blue or things like that. With the introduction of our color effects, we have also changed the behavior of our white flash keys that were available in the hardware layout. We have now changed them to color bumps and they are now using always the selected effect color down below. So if our spots are on green and we have selected the red effect color, a hit on this flash key will give us a flash to red. So this is quite nice if you're using different uh, color schemes in a show and then you can always ensure that you get a, a corresponding flash uh, behavior to set some hits also in this color range and not only with white. To ensure an easy operation in terms of effect speeds, the Effect Master IFX speed, so the master for your intensity effects, will also be responsible for the speed level of your color effects initially. But you can also change this by using a macro, which can be found at Macros Global, and it is called Separate CFX Speedmaster. By clicking this macro, you will ensure that all your color effects are not any longer related to your IFX Speedmaster, but to this uh, new Speedmaster, which is called CFX Speed. All those color effects are based on sequences, which are using MA3 uh, Q recipes, so you can easily adapt them. You can find them down below, starting from 1701 to 1715 for your spots, and also for sure accordingly for all the other different fixture categories. So as an example, we will now simply manipulate this first one, which is an odd even chase. Um, to see what's happening, we just activate this first effect and move back to the sequence and uh, bring in capture. So we have this simple even odd behavior running with the sequence. After that, open the edit menu of the sequence and select the queue inside it to get this uh, recipe editor open. 
Here you can set a selection, so the group on which uh, this uh, effect or this preset here is applied, and you can manipulate all the um, matrix settings. So we are using the Simric group because we want to get a symmetrical effect and in our show file Simric always uses a symmetrical selection in the selection grid of MA3. We've shown this in some previous videos and I think it makes always sense to stick to this um, as long as we want to get symmetrical effects out of it. Then we have the value um, where we can set a different uh, presets. And in our case, we want to move to FX Adapted, where you will now find with this update uh, different effect forms for your color effects uh, separated for each fixture category. This is necessary because the different fixture categories uh, can have different uh, color combinations. So we move from uh, this spot color step uh, one and a half, so 50% white, 50% blue, to um, this smaller version and as you can see now we get a different result with smaller white bumps and we also want to manipulate for example the, the X group and set this here to none and that's basically it it's super easy to adjust those um, color effects using this uh, MA3 recipe function in our template show file and this will now for sure also work with different colors so if we move back and select a different color, for example red, you get the same effect in this new um, color variant. After we've successfully manipulated a color effect sequence, I will show you another uh, feature or possibility after this update in the show file. If you move to a color pool, uh, for example this one here, and move all the way up to 9000, so this will take quite a while, uh, you will find new uh, presets here starting from 9001 um, going all the way up to 9006 and they will represent the presets um, that are actively selected in the um, uh, color picker. So this is always the active selected color of the spots, the wash and so on and the last one is the active selected effect color. And you can for sure now use those presets uh, freely in the show file. For example, for totally different uh, custom built sequences or uh, maybe along with our tap chasers, uh, if you remember them from our last videos. So they are always updated if you change the colors here and you can use them really freely and in a creative way in your show file as you want, not just only for sure in those um, effect sequences as, as we do it with the effect forms. This new feature available with this special version of the color picker, so the created uh, presets, will for sure also be available with the standalone version of the color picker generator plugin that we offer. It is not available today uh, with the release of the updated template show file, but it will follow soon, probably in the next month. So this might be interesting for the guys that uh, prefer a standalone color picker and uh, are running with their own template show file. For the end of this video we will quickly go through two other points which are not related to the color effects. The first one is that we've now added this uh, macro pool uh, by standard to the show a view just to give us all some extra space here uh, with soft keys to quickly access some special functions or maybe to save some space on the X keys. The second point relates to the usage of special effects, for example, CO2 jets. Here we've added now a consumption timer in the show file. This can be found in the MISC global section uh, in the timer section. So there are now two timers by standard in the show file. In our example, one for CO2, the other one for fire, which can be configured uh, in this timer pool objects uh, above. And if you're now hitting the corresponding sequences uh, for those effects, which can be found in the um, sequence global section, for example, CO2 active or fire active, those timers will start to count down. And in this way, you will always know how much time you will have left on this certain category of an effect, because it's quite easy to just calculate the overall time that you can use an effect before your gas bottle is running out, just by knowing the used CO2 jet and uh, your gas tank size. And the cool thing about it is that even if you're not in this menu, 
for example, just operating your show and pressing uh, the CO2 jets, you will get a notification that you're probably running out of your CO2 gas soon. So this is quite a cool feature probably for festival shows um, if you're running uh, them together with some special effects. All the features that we've shown today are available in our template show file version 1.3.1 or above. You can always check the latest available version and the latest tested MA3 software version on our website. Along with this update, we will also start putting release notes on our website so that you can decide if it's worth upgrading your personal, probably adapted version of our template show file or not. Thanks for watching and have a great end of the 2023 summer season. The next big update will probably be there in January next year. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any news until then. Stay tuned.